Activation of platelets is absolutely necessary when it comes to how bleeding is going to be stopped because when platelets become active, they start releasing their content, the chemicals that they store in their cytoplasm, and many of those chemicals are involved in formation of platelet plug and also blood clot. So it is important to know some techniques or methods that platelets become active. For example, here we have a blood vessel that its wall is damaged, and as you can see, part of the wall of a blood vessel is endothelium. In those spots that endothelial cells are damaged, the collagen fibers that we have in the subendothelium become exposed to the components of blood, and one of the components of blood would be platelet. Here we have one inactive platelet, and we see as soon as this inactive platelet gets the opportunity to touch the exposed collagen fibers, it changes its shape. The shape from round turns into a star shape, and more importantly, we see that the platelet start releasing its chemicals out. So this would be an active platelet. In general, when we see a platelet is releasing its chemicals out, we consider that platelet an active platelet. And now we can say that one way to activate platelet is to allow platelet to adhere to touch collagen fibers. Then we focus on some of the chemicals that platelets release. And for the purpose of this video, we focus on two of them, adenosine diphosphate, ADP, and thromboxane A2. Why these two chemicals are important? Because both of them are involved in activating other platelets. So from already activated platelets, we have ADP and thromboxane A2 release, and then these two chemicals participate in activating some other platelets. So we end up with more number of active platelets, and as you see, these active platelets tend to stick together, and in this case, we see that they are trying to form a group and block the damage site to temporarily stop bleeding. So this would be a platelet plug. So aside from adhering to the exposed collagen, we can say that some chemicals such as ADP and thromboxane A2 can also activate platelet. Next, we want to think about what happens exactly if a platelet is damaged, if its membrane is damaged. For example, in this scenario, let's say exactly at the moment of trauma to the wall of the blood vessel, some of the platelets that were in the spot got damaged. When the membrane of the platelet is damaged, it starts releasing its chemicals out. So we can consider a damaged platelet somehow an active platelet because it is releasing many chemicals that we learn they are involved in different steps of platelet plot formation and also in blood clot formation. And then last but not least, we have an enzyme named thrombin that forms during the common pathway of coagulation, blood clot formation. Thrombin has many effects. One of them would be activating platelets. So as a summary at the end of the video, let's note that there are many different ways to activate platelets, but in this video, at least we'll learn about five different ways such as if platelet touches the exposed collagen, chemicals such as ADP, thromboxin A2, thrombin, and even we can say that damage to the platelets can activate them, causes their content to be released out.